Good evening everybody, I'm Pierre Auberge de Daily Trader. It is September 23rd and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how to use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So Tesla closed down $13.26, 4.59% closed at 275.33 post market we are up by 12 cents let's look at what we have here on the chart so yesterday we had stopped at 285.46 the double support for our congestion zone this is a congestion zone that we had right here and it seems like now we are going to go to the lowest level, I would call it, of the congestion zone because we had this big drop here at the beginning of September and it seems like we are wanting to get back there. So it would mean this is a congestion zone within a congestion zone, if I might call it that way. This is where things seems to be heading and we also lost this upward channel right here. So this is what this was our upward channel and we just lost it we lost it when we lose a big support like this with one candle it's always possible that we bounce back this is i don't know if i have an example of that if we go down then boom sometimes we can we can rebound quite fast like here we had this double support here and we went even lower and then boom we started back up so it's possible that this happens i'm not saying that it will but just keep your eyes for that let's let's look at the one hour chart here so we opened the lower today the first hour was lower and we basically for the first three hours went lower and lower and lower and then we stabilized we stabilized and this was pretty much the move of the day and we'll see on Monday if we are continuing our way down. I would tend to think that this might be happening, but we don't need to act on what I think is going to happen. We are going to act on if things are happening. So unless we are coming back above this support right here, then we are not being bullish. And it's possible that we go back to it and just keep going down. So this is another thing that we need to keep uh, in mind. If I draw a very steep resistance right here on the one hour chart, uh, we could almost say that we have crossed outside of it. This is just another piece of information that we are going to need to validate. So this seems to be like the channel that we have been on the one hour chart for the past two days. So it would seem that we are coming outside of it, but let's wait for Monday to be sure of that. If we come back to the daily chart, Stochastic kept its plunge, so we are at 19. RSI uh, also plunged, uh, let me remove this. MACD had already crossed over and the MI also had already crossed over. So from an indicator perspective, everything is really bad. The only thing that uh, can save Tesla for now is a bounce on this support because supports and resistance are more important than stochastic. But we seem to have lost support. So unless we, we come back uh, above uh, support on Monday, then, then I'm sorry to say, but next stop could be as low as 259 or 265 right here. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my Trading View affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great weekend. We are going to talk on Monday, unless, unless you are a member with the specific tier, in which case we are going to also talk on Sunday. So have a great weekend, everybody, and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.